Hello and welcome to an episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason, just outside an LA landmark called Galco's. I'm in the Highland Park section of Los Angeles, and I knew this was a no miss because those who do know me, they know I love drinking soda, especially the independent kind. And there are hundreds and hundreds to choose from. Plus there's alcoholic, but I didn't focus on that really. But I will go ahead and tell you a little bit of history about this place. Plus there is a marker here, but not much description. So, come with me, I'll go ahead and show you around. We're also going to go inside as well. Alright, so if you're coming from the west side direction, you can't miss the sign. And it's also right across the street from a McDonald's. But here's the marker up here. There's not much historical information, but it says, Galco Soda Pop Stop, established 1897, serving Highland Park since 1955. Oh, well you know, there's a mural here. I'll give you a little bit of view of that. All right, so Galco's fine wine, sake, and beer. And I see something about the Beatles. Oh, pretty cool, pop star. Ha, ha, ha. So yes, this did start out as a grocery store in 1897, but in 1955, it moved to its present location, which is of course here. So supposedly there are more than 700 different sodas. Many of them are hard to find. And of course there's beer, there's deli sandwiches, candles. They also offer of course diet sodas, cream sodas, at least 60 kinds of root beer. But going back to the history, it has specialized in carrying independent sodas since 1995. When the owner's son, John Neese, who succeeded his father that year, he decided to shift towards more independent sodas because he believed that in his own words that the big boys were the big, 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 the big boy grocery chains were kind of eating up the smaller the little guy if you know what i mean but i think this experiment experiment has worked and i know what you guys are probably thinking and if you guys saw my pops in oklahoma video in arcadia it is very similar but here you can actually create your own soda as well so a couple things noteworthy, there are some exclusive sodas um, exclusively packaged for Galco's. And there's also um, no Dr. Peppers here. I think 10 years ago, according to this website, they stopped doing that. And it has also been featured in a TV program called Visiting with UL Hauser. So like most LA landmarks, I mean, yeah, something's got a claim to fame. <laughs> So as I was walking in, they've been loading these one by one from the truck into there, but we're gonna go inside now. What in the world? Oh, John Neese, picture of the guy, the king of pop, literally. Root beer. All right, this is the store right here. Can you dig it? And it's got the retro. This is how I remember old time grocery stores before they were all torn down. You got the vintage smell, you got the tile. Really cool, but they got computers now. <laughs> All right, so here are the Pez dispensers. If you want Shaggy or Dr. Strange. And then these are all the old candies. A lot of it you can't get at the grocery store, at least now where I live. Like from Nashville, that's the Google Cluster. I've been to that factory once, it's pretty cool. Chuckles. One of my favorites, the Chunky Bar. And there's so much to choose from. Idaho Spud, what? Anyway, um, to the right is where they store, just in case they need to restock, or if somebody wants to buy them by the, by the bulk, I guess. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought candy cigs were illegal. Like, I thought maybe they were encouraged to um, get kids to smoke cigarettes, but what do I know? <laughs> and this is where the endless selection is, starts. Bottles and bottles of juice and soda. Now if you want it cold, obviously you gotta get it here. Ooh, cheer wine. I gotta get me a drink of those too. <laughs> And here we go. Oh, Jamaica's finest ginger beer, nice. All right, man. Fago, okay. So 
in my pops video I made a reference to Shaggy Too Dope and the other guy from Insane Clown Posse. Well, every time I see Fago, that's what I think of. Oh so cherry, Sioux City Cream Soda, Hanks. I tell you, this possibilities are endless here. Oh man, this definitely feels closer to home. I see Fitz's here. Yep. Now, I would really feel at home if they put Ski out here, but I don't know what the chances of that happening are. Now over here in aisle four, there's beer, Goose Island, a lot of craft beer. This is tea, lemonade. So yeah, you will not go thirsty if you are prepared to spend some money. This whole wall mostly consists of Japanese drinks or something with the Japanese characters on them. And then there's wine just right up that corner right over there. And back there is a deli. Now if you want cold alcohol, it's all back here. And then, this is where you really gotta get creative and I don't really know where I'd do it from, but so, soda creation station. Do you want light carbonation, heavy carbonation, or plain water? Okay, I don't want plain water. But, you can mix your own. Okay, starting with pineapple, pomegranate, raspberry, old fashioned root beer. There's mojito, there's toasted marshmallow flavor. What are some other ones? Okay, butterscotch. Granny Smith apple, cherry, coconut, key lime pie, like we're in Florida or something. Classic watermelon, oh my. <laughs> Tough decision here. All right, check it out. This is how I'm gonna do it. It looks like a beer bottle, but it's not. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. All right. I'm gonna do wild grape. And then I'm gonna mix it with something else, but I'm still deciding on, you know what, how about watermelon? Those will mix well together, right? <laughs> All right, done. Now I gotta dry this off and put a cap on it. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Historically Mart. I am in Los Angeles, California, outside Galco's Old World Grocery Store. Signing off.